Okay. <laughs> oh no. There's a glare. <sighs> no glasses today. <laughs> Hi. I'm Kali. Um, welcome to my channel. You like my pajamas? It is really cold here and it's kind of unnecessary. It's so in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I moved to Korea, why do I want to learn Korean, and when am I going back? Because if you didn't know, I am not in Korea. I am back in the United States right now. But first, but first, <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. <laughs> so before we get started, really quick, I need you to do something for me. And if you love me, you would do it for me. Um, I entered in this video contest for international studies to win a scholarship because your girl is broke and I could use a scholarship. I need you to vote for me. So the faster we can get your girl to Korea, the faster we can get that aesthetic yet informative blogs and content and stuff. All you have to do is go to the website. So I'll leave a link in the description and you click vote on me. They'll send you an email, check your spam folder, and confirm it. And I'll be your best friend if you do it. And that's it. And it would mean the world for me if you voted for me. Please, please, please. Thank you. So, and when you watch the video, <laughs> please set your expectations kind of low. I was editing this like, 2 a.m. the night before, I was like, oh my god, do I want to do this? I was like, you know, just do it. Just do it. And I was thinking, it's the most amazing video ever, and I look back, I'm like, ew. I mean, it kind of, I don't know. But I still want you to vote for me. Okay, I'm gonna stop begging now. So, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to talk about what the video is titled, Why Did I Move to Korea? Why did I want to? Ever since, literally my first video, people were like, why Korea? Why do you want to go to Korea? Why, 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 why? So, basically, I wanted to go to Korea because I wanted to. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Just kidding. Lame joke. So, if you want the why, 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 I'm going to start from the very beginning in 1998 when I was just a little, little embryo. I was born in my, just kidding, not that far. Okay, back in 2010, the movie Karate Kid came out, right? The one with Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan. That is still one of my favorite movies. I know that movie word for word, even the Chinese words. I obsess over that movie so much and the more I watched it, the more I was like, dang, that little Chinese boy is cute. I wonder what his name is. So after obsessing over him in the movie, you know, back then, what was I, 2010? I was 12. After obsessing over him for a little bit, I started to do what every other fangirl does and I stalked on the internet. Not really stalked, but I looked up all his videos on like YouTube and he didn't really have many. He had like a few like fighting videos of him doing like like kung fu with his friends or whatever and all his videos you know he didn't really have much about them on the side when youtube recommends you what to watch there was a really pink and colorful thumbnail and i was like oh my goodness what is that so my little 12 year old how old was i 11 or 12 clicked on the video and it was a girl's generation it was oh that was my first song i will never forget it uh, mm, 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 mm. I don't know, I don't think I, I probably didn't think it was Korean at first, I probably thought it was Chinese just because I was looking at like Chinese boys, so I probably just assumed. So I got over him really quick and I was like, oh my god, what are, these girls are amazing, The I like the music and the pink and the sparkly lights and the dancing and they were just cute. It like very, it intrigued my 12 year old self. After getting over him, I started to find out more about Girls' Generation I was like, oh they're Korean, oh okay and I start to look at a lot of other their videos and to this day my favorite girls generation song is still run del run and after like watching all their videos I wanted to learn the dances the dances is what 
sucked me in. At this point, I really didn't care t about the culture. I didn't care to like learn anything. I just liked Girls' Generation specifically. So I would like take my mom's laptop, lock my door in my room, and like learn the dance for hours to all of them. I probably still know parts of them, and I dance for hours every day after school. Like I looked forward to going home and watching new videos, and I guess. I guess I got kind of curious about others, so I started to dip my toe into other groups. So then I discovered like After School and Four Minute and Tiara and FX. At this point, I'm still only into the music. So I just kept to uh, watching girl group videos. I didn't really get into boy groups until a little bit later. FX quickly became my like favorite group. I was obsessed. I learned all of their dances that have been out so far. New ABO. To this day, New ABO is my favorite FX song ever. It's probably my fave K-pop song ever. Like, that's a good song. We gonna listen to it real quick if you don't know it. I know a lot of you are new to K-pop and you're only familiar with like OT7 and BTS and Twice. So I'm gonna show you some. Okay. <laughs> then, after obsessing over FX for a bit, I started watching like their their variety shows. I remember Hello Koala, like a reality show showing their life or whatever. So that was my first bit into like Korean conversation. At that point, I've only listened to the music. And this is my first time like like listening to it and I was like, oh my god, that is such a dope language. I was like, that's so pretty. But I still didn't care to like learn it. I was just like, oh, this is great. I'll just watch TV and stuff. I was still obsessed with FX, so anything they did, I watched it. And Sully, one of the X members, she did this movie. What was it called? Punch Lady. I think that was my first Korean movie. <laughs> it was kind of intense for a first movie. And I was still like 12. I was like, dang, this like even even though the husband is beating the crap out of his wife, I'm like, this is a really dope language. My god. Sully's movie. I saw she was also in a drama that I could watch for free online. I think I I think I used Vicky and it was To the Beautiful You with Choi Mino. From shiny I love that drama while watching that drama I was like dang these guys are cute so after obsessing over shiny for a bit so then I continued watching dramas because I liked how it sound I didn't mind reading the subtitles and I started liking other groups like BAP team top I like B2B for a little bit EXO super junior TVXQ I still watch girl groups but I was like dang these boys though. After watching like variety shows and dramas, I slowly started picking up on like cultural differences, like bowing when you say hello. I picked up a few words like 안녕하세요, 네, 사랑해, 오빠, like everybody else does. And then about when I was 16, I was like, man, I kind of want to learn. So I did start learning and I just took lessons on YouTube and I used like free websites and I kind of learned that way. And then I stopped like after I think a few months, you know, I kind of gave up. I was like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, everybody says it's stupid and you know, you shouldn't do it. It's a waste of time. You have to go to college, study on your other studies like Spanish. Like I don't want to speak the Espanol. And so my interest to move to Korea, it never fazed me. Like I was like, you know, it's never going to happen. Um, probably just going to stay here. Everybody was like, why would you leave? You live in the United States, just stay. And so, and then when, like the end, towards the end of high school, like when I was 18, everybody was getting ready to go to college, They're, everybody knew what they wanted to do, and then like decision day, everybody had their college on their shirt, and I was like, I have no idea what the frick I want to do, and I don't know, I don't know, I want to travel, and when I told my mom that, she was like, where do you want to go, and then the first place that popped in my mind was Korea, I was like, I want to visit Korea to learn Korean, because I can't learn by myself. I don't know if I want to continue my education there. And so I knew it would take a few years. You know, I was broke. My mom wasn't going to pay for it. But I want to learn to speak the language. So then I worked two jobs. I paid and I had enough money to visit Korea for a month when I was 19 to go on like vacation. I think we went from July 
to August, my sister and I went to Korea for the first time. You know, I was really scared that I wasn't gonna like it. People were like, you know, stuff on the internet is not what it's like in real life. What if you hate it? So I was like, okay, I'll go and visit. So I went with my sister. I paid for it all with my hard earned cash. I'm telling you, it was hard earned. I worked my butt off. <sighs> it's tragic. And it was great. It was amazing. It was fun food was good. You know, the people are nice. I remember we went hiking and all these people would stop to talk to us. And with my little broken little Korean, all the Korean that I picked up from dramas, I was able to have a small conversation. So if your parents are like, you watch too much drama, it's not good for you. No, you pick up a lot of stuff, or at least I did. And then I remember going to this restaurant called Danj Chicken in Sinchon. It was like right across from the hostel my, my sister and I stayed at. We ordered chicken to go and it took the chicken like 20 minutes to cook and they were the mom and the dad they were talking to us or me specifically because i was the only one that could answer and i was like oh my god this is amazing i know what they're saying um i could reply back with like little words but they understood and they kept talking i'm like this is freaking amazing so when i went back home i was like i want to go back but i want to learn this time you know i got i was starting to get really excited i was like i gotta go back i want to go back this is really fun and oh, i'm getting excited just thinking about it i remember those feelings i had so i was like i have to go back and i want to learn so i started looking up like language school specifically not for like a degree but just to learn. I knew they were a thing. I knew a lot of people did it in like China, but I was like, do they have it in Korea? So then I started looking up and they're like, Yonsei is a top university. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll go to Yonsei. But doing more research, they were like, Iwa is better. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll go to Iwa. It's all women's university too. That's pretty cool. And then the more research I did, I came to the conclusion, you know, I want to go to Sogang because it fit what I want the most. I wanted to be able to talk to people. I wanted to be able to express what I was feeling. Like grammar is important, but I feel like for what I wanted, I thought Sogang was the best choice for me. So after I was like, mom, I'm going back. I'm going to Sogang University to learn Korean. And I went back to my two jobs and I worked, worked, worked till I saved as much money as I could. And I went to Korea March 2018 and that's when I started this channel. I was like, I was like, I was so happy and I was learning so much. Like the first two weeks were pretty easy because it was stuff I learned or picked up. But then after that, it started going really fast and I didn't know, but I loved the challenge. I loved learning every day. I loved my teachers and I can't wait to go back. And that's my story. So let's, an overview. 11 or 12, I started listening to K-pop and K-drums and 12 to 16, non-stop Korean drama, Korean movies, Korean music. I started learning Korean a little bit at 16, but then I stopped. And then when I turned 19, I visited Korea the first time, fell in love, you know, and I came back home, I worked, and then I went back to Korea in March 2018 to study at Sogang University at level one for three months. A girl come, a guy or a guy, I don't know. Well, I mean, Korea isn't just K-pop. You kind of sound like a Korea, boo. Shut the frick up. I think we all know that Korea is not just K-pop. America isn't just, like, America isn't just guns and Hollywood. It's a lot more than that. And the same goes for Korea, you know, Spain isn't just tango and France isn't just baguettes in the Eiffel Tower like we freaking know that anyways I just need to clarify I did not move to Korea specifically for k-pop but k-pop is what introduced us to Korean culture you know if it wasn't for k-pop I probably would have no idea you know I probably know what Korea is as a country I know it's in Asia but I probably wouldn't have lived there like I did so and now, as for when I'm going back, oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, so the original plan was, I go to Korea in March, and I come back to DC, you know, when the semester's over at the end of May, and I stay here for the summer, and then I go back in September, or when the fall semester starts. Well, change of plans happen. I was like, I want to bring my dot this time. Well, this time, I want to stay for... A whole year I want to finish all the way to level six is the highest level and I don't want 
oh, excuse me. I don't want to stay in a Goshiwan that long and I want to bring my dog. So I was like, I want to get an apartment, maybe like a like a small studio that I can have Ginger in, my dog. Maybe I'll just I'll just skip the fall and winter semester also and I'll work, I'll save up my money and then I'll go back in the spring. So that's the plan. I plan to go back at the end of February or beginning of March. Definite Definitely, and I'm so excited. All of my friends are probably in like a level five by the time I go back, but it's okay. And also this time, now that I want to stay for like a year, year and a half, I have to like get my student visa and get a cell phone plan and alien registration card. So expect some, expect some informative videos in the future because I have to do all of that stuff now and I'm so excited. I did the scholarship video to help with the expenses so if you could vote for me that'd be super awesome. Once again just click on the link in the description, click vote, they'll send an email to confirm it and if you do I will love you forever. I mean I already do. <gasps> I saw we hit 60,000 subscribers. You know, a lot of people were like, you know, it's 2018, it's too late to start YouTube. People are already big, are big, it's whatever. And so I was like, yeah, you're right, but I still wanna make these videos to like look back on, you know, see the good times when I had fun in Korea, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden we have all of you here. So thanks for joining the fam. Love you. I'll be going back to Korea. <clears throat> 17 weeks to be exactamente. I will show you, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you when I buy my tickets. I'm gonna take you on the process of filling out the visa. I'm gonna apply again and I'm going to show all of you how to do it step by mother freaking step. Like these next few months need to go by faster. Oh, and another question I got, what do you wanna do? With learning Korean um, just add it to like a list of languages I speak I want to be a polyglot so bad so currently I'm studying Korean and Spanish that's all for the video thank you for watching let's end this off by listening to my current fave song it's Ibiza by Ozuna <laughs> Bye bye. She hates me.